what? Oh. Okay. Would you, would you like to tell the audience? Here, come with them now. What would you like to tell the people, Marie? Hello, Evelings. It's Evelyn Everything, back at it again with another video for the tube. I've shown you how I do my makeup, I've shown you how I do my hair, or at least try to do both of those things. And today, I'm gonna try to make an outfit. Goddamn girl! I'm filming a YouTube video here. Okay, so the look I'm going to do is inspired by Ahura from Drag Race UK Season 2. And um, one thing about me is that I wear a lot of bandanas. Like, out of drag, last semester, like, you would be hard pressed to find me out and about without a bandana on my head. And it's always a black one, and that's because I'm into BDSM. If you know Hanky Code, you know. Just kidding, just kidding, that's not true. But, um, I do wear bandanas literally all the time, so I decided that I would take that aspect of my personality and incorporate it into a drag look. And fortunately, Ahura already presented the blueprint for me. The first bandana, I just kind of folded and tied around my waist, and then I will attach two right to the front and just toss those over my shoulder and tie them in the back and then I have a gorgeous and simple little top. To me, I think the best part of putting this together is the lack of sewing because I'm working on it, but I am not a seamstress. I am not excellent with thread and needle. But what I can do is tie a bunch of shit together the nipples are on the precipice of being out at any given second. But I am enjoying it so far. But we're about to move on to the battle of the skirt. For the skirt, there really is no rhyme or reason. I just kind of put them around how they would fit. So in the meantime, let me give you a little story time. So I just got back from a trip to Canada with my friend. We went to Toronto to go see some drag queens who were on Drag Race UK. I got to see Smitty Drop, Dakota Schiffer, Black Peppa, and so many more. They were all so sweet and so tall. It was incredible. The meet and greet experience was crazy because we were a little bit late because we drove from America to Canada. And we just got to like sit and chat with them because they brought us out to the stage area and it was so, so cool. And I'm really, really obsessed with them. Also, we went out that night to Church Street, which is like sort of the gay bars of Toronto. And there I flirted with gothy Kendall on Grinder. So, um, kind of made my life. Oh, I'm doing a little K-pop dance. How cute. Can you guess what song it is? That's another thing. Denali saw my Instagram story where I reposted her doing actually this dance. And Sminty reposted my Instagram story. And Fierce Alicious liked my Instagram post. So, feel low-key famous. Also, over the trip, I saw Isis Couture and Laganja Estranja, which was so, so cool. And I got to tell Laganja about how much it meant that she commented on my very first YouTube video on this channel. So go check out Laganja's comment on my first video. So cute. So much fun. Overall, in review, I low-key wish I was born Canadian because Toronto was so much fun. Okay, I'm at a point where I think I'm happy with the skirt. It's certainly a little hoochie. A little lumpy, I think it'll require some smoothing, but, like, oh, girl. I don't really hate it. I don't mind it. I think it's cute. I like how it kind of looks, like, layered, you know? There's, like, three stacked right there. A little bit, it feels like a loincloth, but I'm an enjoyer of it. I'm into it. I also added this little, this little tie here, you know, to make it special, a little Evelyn exclusive. Um, so, yeah. This is the base of the outfit. Let's try some of the auxiliary materials. 
<laughs> okay, I put this little wig on with it. I actually really like it. A little pop of extra color. Now, another accessory to add. The gloves. You know, the same no glove, no love. And I'm not doing anything else with this, so. Okay. I'm actually really into the look. I think I could use like a little more sprucing, a little more accessorizing, but I'm gonna put myself in the drag to see how it really looks. Night has fallen. I'm up in the drags. The members of the household are sleeping, but this is the final look. Oh, what do you think? A little. Dummy mommy. I've never done short hair before. This is new for me. Neon blush to match the hair. I'm kind of living, but that's just me. Okay, prepare for the B-roll.